वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल मैथ सोसाइटी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू सॉल्व आर क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन बाय एन अदर मैथड विच इज़ बी कॉल्ड द बाय क्वाडिटिक फॉर्मूला मैथड एंड इन प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू सॉल्व द क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन बाय फैक्ट्राइजेशन मैथड एंड कम्प्लीटिंग स्केयर मैथड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू सॉल्व इट बाय क्वाडिटिक फॉर्मूला हेयर द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ द क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन वेसीज constant and a b are the coefficients of x square and x here which is very important formula we use this formula in all the questions now let us check out how to apply this formula to solve the quadratic equation so let us take example so we have to find the solution of this equation so to solve the quadratic equation by this formula we must have to make this equation as in the standard form of the quadratic equation so we can rewrite this equation as 4x square minus 3x minus 14 which is equals to 0 now this equation is in the standard form of the quadratic equation <clears throat> now the second step is to determine the coefficients a b and c so here is the standard equation now compare let's call the first and second equation so it is easy to compare now compare the coefficients of equation 1 and equation 2 so we have a which is equals to 4 because here the coefficient of x square is 4 and the coefficient of x square is a so a which is equals to 4 another value by comparison is b is equals to minus 3 and c which is equals to minus 14 now to put these values in this formula so we have this formula we can write as x is equals to minus sign and the value of b which is minus 3 so minus 3 the sign between them is plus minus b square means minus 3 square minus 4 a what's the value of a which is 4 the value of c which is minus 14 and this part is in under root square root divided by 2a 2 and what's the value of a is 4 the next step is to simplify this factor to calculate these terms so x is equals to plus minus minus which is plus so plus 3 plus minus the square of minus 3 which is equals to plus 9 and after multiply these terms we have we have 224 under root divided by 4 to the 8 now the another step is x is equals to 3 plus minus so we have 233 under root divided by 8 so it's a final answer so what's the solution set of this question so we can write here as 3 plus minus 233 under root divided by 8 so it's a very easy method if you understand it properly so let us check out the another example to understand how to use this formula on different type of questions here is another question uh, to solve it by the quadratic formula before solve this question here this is a mixed number first of all we have to convert the mixed number to the improper fraction we learn how to convert the mixed number just like this mixed number which is a combination of an integer and a proper fraction so how can convert this number into the improper fraction for example we have this this mixed number and mixed number is a combination of the integer and the proper fraction so we can which is equals to 2 multiplied by 3 the 2 which is multiplied by the denominator and plus 1 which is this one divided by 3 which is equals to 3 to the 6 plus 1 over 3 which is equals to 7 over 3 so here's a procedure to convert the mixed number into the improper fraction uh, first step is to express the equation in the standard quadratic form so we take lcm 2x which is minus 1 and it will be x plus 2 into 2x 
the sin is minus and 4 minus x into x minus 1 which is equals to 7 over 3. To simplify this we have 2x square plus 4x. The sign is minus and multiply these two terms we have 4x minus 4 minus x square plus x. And the term which is in denominator also multiply so we have 2x square minus 2x which is equals to 7 over 3. So to simplifying this factor we are remaining with 3x square minus x plus 4 divided by 2x square minus 2x which is equals to 7 over 3. We have to apply a cross multiplication so we can write here 3 multiplied with this term 3x square minus x plus 4 which is equal to 7 is multiplied with this factor and this is called a cross multiplication 2x square minus 2x. Now multiply these terms we are left with 3 9x square minus 3x plus 12 which is equal to 14x square minus 14 of x. Take all the terms on So take all the terms on the right hand side to make this as 0. So we can write here 14x square minus 14x minus 9x square plus 3x minus 12 which is equal to 0. Now after simplifying all these factors we are left with 5 square minus 11x minus 12 which is equal to 0. Now it's a standard form of the quadratic equations. So we can apply a quadratic formula. So here is a standard form of the quadratic equation and now compare the coefficients of equation A and equation B. We suppose this equation as A equation and this equation as a B equation. As the comparison we have the values of A, B and C. So the value of A which is equals to 5, B which is equals to minus 11 and C which is equals to minus 12. Now to apply the quadratic formula, what is the quadratic formula which is x is equals to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac under root divided by 2a. So now we apply this formula. So here x which is equals to by formula minus b. What's the value of b which is minus into minus 11 plus minus minus 11 square minus 4a which is 5 and the value of c which is minus 12 and all the factors are in under root divided by 2a which is equals to value of a which is equals to 5. So now we have just to simplify this. So x is equals to 11 plus minus square of 11 which is equals to 121 and after multiplying all these factors we have 240 answer and in under root divided by 10 which is equals to 11 plus minus 361 under root divided by 10 and after this step we will have 11 plus minus 361 is a scale of 19 so we can write here as a 19 divided by 10 so now we simplify this factor so either again Either x is equal to 11 plus 19 over 10 or another case which is x is equal to 11 minus 19 over 10. So x is equal to which is 30 over 10. So x is equal to 3. And in this case we are left with x is equal to minus 8 over 10. x is equal to minus 4 over 5. So we have a solution set. We can write as 3 into minus 4 over 5. It's all about of today's lecture. So if you learn anything from this video and want to watch more videos about mathematics, then don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Thank you.